Welcome back here at DreamX Summer 2011. And this time it's not StarCraft 2 content, but Battlefield. And I'm standing here with uh, one of the DICE employees. Uh, tell me, what's your role at DICE? Uh, my name is Donny Matus. I'm the Global Battlefield Community Manager. All right, cool. And you guys are standing here at DreamX. I think it's uh, one of the first time that DreamX has su have such a big title uh, coming here and be able to play. And how is it going? Amazing. It's going amazing. I mean, when we first decided to go to DreamHack, this is probably the first year we ever at DreamHack with a Battlefield title. So, so we first thought, how can we make this big? We want to announce our presence. And this booth is 250 square meters. The walls are just like a castle. We parked our booth right in the middle of the esports area, right in front of the entrance, the main entrance, so no one can miss us. And uh, everything's going really amazing. I mean, we have 32 PCs in the booth. Lots and lots of people playing all the time, giving us feedback, trying out the game, so it's good. I, I can imagine that. And um, like the, the game is coming out uh, at, uh, in October, 25th of October. Um, there's going to be a beta. Um, you said, what, what other like, events coming up to, to, the, to the release is DICE going to attend to share us a little bit more of uh, information? Well, one of the big events we're going to attend is uh, Gamescom 2011. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be really cool. Gamescom is going to be invaded by Battlefield fans and DICE, pretty much. We're going to be there. All right, cool. And um, regarding esports, I mean, we're here at DreamHack. You're a Swedish company. Yeah. Um, you, can, you can, yeah, Sweden is about esports. We can tell. It's, it's worldwide. They're, they have the best players. And it would, th there have been always esports with Battlefield, not as big maybe as, uh, as, the, as some other titles, but what can you tell us regarding uh, the involvement of DICE into esports in, for Battlefield 3? Well, I can say from, uh, unfortunately I can't comment on Battlefield 3 and esports. Uh, we're still working on the game, it's still pre-alpha, so we'll roll out some new information later on, but what I can say about esports and Battlefield series in general is that we experienced a good esports scene back in 2002, 2003, Battlefield 42. It was represented at CPL, Cal, and all those places. Big, big tournaments, huge prize money. Same thing was for BF2. Um, I personally wasn't that satisfied with the esports scene in BF2. It needs to be bigger. It needs to be a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot bigger. And that's why you're here. Maybe. That's why, that's why we hope you're here. Oh, that's why we hope we're here. Yeah. I mean, any... Look at the FPS uh, market regarding uh, uh, regarding esports. E yeah. We can we can use some new graphics uh, <laughs> on that part. And and to be honest, Battlefield 3 it looks amazing. Well, well, uh, the the engine is Frostbite 2, uh, if I'm correct. Um, it's the first game that's going to be released with the new engine, right? Yes. Uh, it's the first Battlefield title we ever release with Frostbite 2. Um, so what we did with Bad Company, when we actually started making Battlefield 3, um, we were making Bad Company too. We started the concept of Battlefield 3. So how do we want the game to look like? How do we want the game to feel? Um, at that moment, we felt like we can't create what we want to be absolutely perfect for Battlefield 3. So we rewrote the whole engine. It took us a few years. Uh, and now we're here, Frostbite 2. It's an amazing engine. I mean, scale, sound, rendering, all of that. Everything can be. Is, everything is destructible. Even uh, what I found really cool is that when the, the the guys are running around, that they use uh, something of the FIFA engine. Yeah, the, uh, it's the brand new animation technology from EA Tech. Uh, it's used in FIFA games and all of that. Now, of course, FIFA games are played on a big soccer pitch with 11, 11 people on every team. It doesn't work in a battlefield. You don't really play on a soccer pitch, right? So we needed to integrate the system truly into the Battlefield game. We've done that really well. People are trying it out right now. When they come out, they're like, oh my god, it's an awesome game. So the animation system actually does a lot for us. Uh, it adds a new physic into the game. It, everything feels so physical right now. So you can actually feel when you light up. You can feel when you get shot at. You can feel when you jump. Um, a lot of that came from the Mirror's Edge series that we had uh, back in the days. Um, it was a, a running game. It was a running game, exactly. It was a running game. And it, it was a very physical game. You could actually do some parkour-esque stuff. And we've added that technology into Battlefield 3. So now you can actually feel like you're jumping over stuff. You feel like you're being shot at. So 
I would say it's the most physical FPS game ever created. Yeah, it, it's certainly, uh, you guys just uh, got back from E3, basically. And I guess even before the, the E3 was opened, you guys were getting all the awards. And, and during E3, everyone, uh, I mean, you were heard the main title of, of, of E3, especially like FPS for 2011. You're the one. It's it's gonna. I, I, I guess uh, what I'm trying to say is, um, do you uh, do you f like do you feel that confident about this game uh, differently maybe than Battlefields in the past? Because it's it seems to be a, a huge huge step. Uh, depend if, if you compare it during the other belt Battlefields. I mean, I was in a realm where we actually created Battlefield 2. I was still in high school, uh, but uh, the cool job. Oh. <laughs> The feeling I get when I'm in the studio is that we have to see it th this way. The Bad Company series, they were a spin-off from the original Battlefield series, all right? So it was Battlefield 2, downwards in the, in the spin-off section you had Bad Company 1, Bad Company 2, then, bam, comes BF3. So, um, yeah, we're very proud of it, actually. Very, very proud. And the games industry has changed so much during these past six years that Pretty much everyone is a casual game. Either you game on Facebook or other types of platforms, right? So we're so excited. We're so amped for BF3. So we, you can feel it everywhere in the studio. All right. Um, thanks regarding the Battlefield. One more question. How, uh, how is DICE as a company? How many people are you guys? Uh, where are you located in, in, in Sweden? And how is it working there? It's uh, it's an amazing company. I have to say that it's it's the best place I've ever worked at. Uh, I'm not saying that because my boss is in the booth <laughs> right next to me, and he can probably hear us. Uh, no, it's so creative. It's so open. It's a very open environment. It's a very flat hire. You don't really have a hierarchy. It's a very flat system. I mean, really open, yeah, and and your manager comes in, just sits down and has a cup of tea with you, rallies the team, and he listens to what the team leader has to say for the event and that kind of stuff. So, I mean, it's an amazing place to work at. Um, I remember Patrick Bach went out in a Swedish newspaper and said we, are, we have a very socialist way of making games and it's true, we do. We have a very socialist way of running the company. It's, it's amazing. I mean, everyone, the best idea wins and everyone has so many ideas that they never end. Cool, cool. I don't have any more questions. Uh, I want to thank you for having this interview. Uh, I really, really look forward for Battlefield 3. Uh, I'm certainly gonna buy it. I'll probably need to, to buy a new computer because I want to play it like I'm playing it in there. I'm, I want to play it like I'm playing it in there. So I want to thank the Battlefield 3 uh, .nl community uh, for bringing us this interview and Clanos.nl for bringing us to DreamHack and see you guys later.